Yo, 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 you guys, it's Zachary Tudor's back once again with another new episode of the Doom Patrol. This episode's title is Flex Patrol. If y'all dig in the content, go ahead and hit your boy with a like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll jump right into this. The episode opens up with Flex Mentalo, and he's with his wife, and they're just enjoying a nice, peaceful, relaxing picnic, and he is the hero that everybody wants to be and meet with. While he's on this picnic with his wife, there's a young child that ends up asking for help. And of course, Flex being the hero that he is, of course he wants to help. So he goes to see what this kid wants and this comes right out of a comic book. The kid has his cat stuck in a tree. So when Flex goes ahead and uses his mysterious powers, which by the way, his powers are activated by him flexing his muscles and mysterious and wondrous things happen. When he flexes his muscles, one of the branches holding the cat ends up lowering itself so that Flex can actually grab the cat. He tries to get the cat to the kid, but the cat ends up shooting out this light from its mouth. And the child is like, we have our target. And we see that he's brought to the ant farm. We are brought back to present day where Silas is in the arms of his son Vic and Vic is just freaking out. But we find out that he has a pulse. Matter of fact, our team ends up finding Flex Mentalo and they end up getting Flint to get them out of that situation. And of course, Jane was kind of annoyed that they're trying to use one of her personalities just all willy nilly. But Flint agrees and just gets them all out of there because everybody else was on panic mode and a couple of the agents were shooting down anybody who had powers or anybody who was not seen as normal. As soon as Flint teleports them back to the manor, Flint teleports Vic and Silas to the hospital and Rita gets annoyed that Flint didn't teleport anybody else with them because Vic is very emotional and kind of a little bit unstable. So what does Flint do? Flint ends up teleporting Rita to the hospital as well and comes back as Crazy Jane. Larry and the spirit are now separate, but when Larry tries to rest, the spirit ends up giving Larry another flashback into his memories. And we see that Larry was tortured while he was at the ant farm, but he also ended up meeting Flex Mentalo and not realizing it. And Flex was trying to actually escape and was communicating with the spirit inside of Larry. Unfortunately, Larry hesitates and this hinders Flex Mentalo and it hinders the negative spirit. While everybody else is doing their thing, Jane and Cliff are trying really hard to get Flex Mentalo to remember who he is. He is a shadow of his former self and doesn't remember anything. Rita is with Vic and Victor is remorseful about attacking his father and he does not want any part of Grit, even though his father was trying to help him. Rita ends up finding an old man who's just trying to find his room, so she agrees to try to help him. Jane and Cliff try to get Flex to remember his powers, and while he's watching his stories on the television, Cliff ends up breaking the television, and instead of Flex using his powers, he just ends up crying. Rita and the old man talk about, you know, mistakes and how they need to grow past them and overcome them and Rita goes into detail about her career and how she's made a lot of mistakes and the old man says they have no power over you your mistakes have no power over you you have taken control another one of Larry's flashbacks involve him again trying to escape and Flex Mentalo is communicating with the spirit and the agents of the Bureau of Normalcy have Dolores Flex's wife that was the same woman they were trying to meet a few episodes ago. And at this point, Flex's wife is being held captive, so he can no longer try to assist anyone trying to escape. And the spirit is angry at this point. When Larry wakes up, he tells the team that they need to find Dolores. Flint ends up bringing back Dolores, and she has clearly been messed with. Flex remembers who he is, and then Dolores remembers who she is too. Unfortunately, Dolores ends up fading away because she was told if she ever tried to find Flex, this would happen to her. When Dolores fades away in Flex's arms, he is mad and angry and ends up displaying his powers, causing a surge throughout the Doom Manor. Rita talks to Vic about overcoming his obstacles and that he is still a valid person. He just was taken control a bit by Mr. Nobody, reluctantly a bit, he ends up taking on Grid, but he says he needs to be with his father and he won't be able to help the Doom Patrol at this point. As Rita leaves the hospital, we see that the old man who was talking to her is actually Mr. Nobody. Because the spirit and Larry are now separate, Larry is dying and he ends up telling the spirit 
that he can just go ahead and go on without him because he doesn't want to hold the spirit back from living his life. The spirit was about to leave, but ends up going back to Larry so that he can live. Because Larry should have died a few years ago, but yet he's still alive thanks to the spirit living inside of him. Rita rallies the team, and as the team is coming together, Mr. Nobody pauses the episode while he's decked out in Doom Patrol attire. He basically says to us, the viewers, and to more or less the Doom Patrol, that if they want the chief, to come get him. And that's how the episode ends. I really enjoyed this episode a lot. Like, there was a lot of character growth with many of the characters. But what was your favorite part of the episode? Let me know in the comments, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for tuning in. See you soon. Out.